G'day, mate! Welcome back. Kez can cook on a budget in quarantine. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna cook pancit bihun, if that's how you say it. Whoops, I don't know. But anyway, so this is a vermicelli noodle dish. Now, usually it has um, sliced chicken and pork in it, but today I've got to make do with what I have in my cupboard because guess what? We're on a budget. Instead of having the pork, and the chicken, we're gonna have minced beef. As you can see, we got it on special. And we're gonna put some bacon. We have this hairy looking vegetable. That's a Filipino vegetable that I can't pronounce. Mum, help. <laughs> and <laughs> we have a carrot, zucchini, an onion, mushrooms, and garlic. Now the sauces that are needed, obviously you need oil to get it going fish sauce, that seasoning sauce that I love so much, oyster sauce, pepper, and we're going to bleh, bleh. <laughs> We're going to add in some lentils today just to beef it up a little bit and make sure that we are full. So I have a little helper today. This is Miss Trinity Eva, who is how old? Five. So what we need to do first of all is get our vermicelli noodles. Now these are about $1.60 from Woolworths or Coles or wherever. Put it in a bowl. Now I've boiled some hot water in the kettle. So there's about two litres of hot water. Yes, stand away. So we're gonna pour the two litres onto the vermicelli noodles. Now vermicelli noodles are very thin and they will soak in all that water to be able to use for cooking. Okay, Trinity, do you wanna help me? Now, what should I cut up first out of the vegetables? Mm, that one could be first. And what's that one, do you know? Uh, no. It's a big green. Vegetable that supposedly tastes like zucchini. So all you Filipino cousins relatives out there put it in the comments Because I'm sure you all know what it is with this vegetable the big green thing We bought it from a stall just down the road from our house at a farm for one dollar and Literally we're getting four uses out of it. So I mean that goes a long way So with this green vegetable that we have chopped what you need to do is actually peel it because it has little hairs on it I don't know if you can see that at all, but it's quite hairy for what it is. So literally just peel it and then that way we can proceed to the next vegetable. Now because we're using minced beef with this dish, we need to cut this vegetable and all the vegetables into small pieces, okay? So what we're going to do in this part is slice it one, two, three and four and just be sure to cheat, um, make sure your fingers are all okay, okay? So like that, one, two, two and three, that one's a little bit bigger, but who cares? We better use the plate because someone has OCD. Okay, let's go back to chopping this vegetable. So we're just going to do it in little cubes, as you can see. Now you don't really need to take your knife off the board for this. Okay, so you get a lot out of that little bit. Top, tail. Now don't get at me for doing this the wrong way, but it's quick for me, all right? I... With this, I like to go down that way. And then, one, two, three. One, two, and three. And once again, like the green vegetable we just chopped, we're going to cube this one as well. Once again, you don't need to really take the knife off the bench. What do we have here, Trinity? What's it called? Guess. Yes. Cucumber. Zucchini. Yay! Cut in the middle. And one, two, and three. Same as this. One, two. With this one, what you will do with this is slice it like you normally would and then go the other way. So so when they're being cooked, they actually lose a lot of water. So you'll see a little water in the pan. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do the garlic. And welcome to Miss Sophia. I got a bite. Excuse me. That's my sister. Is it really? Yes. Where'd she come from? From the room. But where'd she come from? From mum's belly. And where'd you come from? From mum's belly. Did you? Yes. Oh, 
I got this. So I'm full of batteries. What's that? A battery? Yes. Yeah. Who looks forward to bashing the garlic? Look at this one. Already going. I'm almost done. Yummy. And as you can see, we're supervising our children, so don't let them do this on their own because who knows what they will do. Okay, so that's done. Good job. Give me five. Woo! Woo! Okay, so what we're going to do now is cut the bacon up. Now, it's probably a good time to use this bacon because we have used it in a previous dish. Right, Magic. now we have to cut the rind off because we definitely don't want that in this dish. So what we're going to... What we're going to do now is cut this. So we're going to cut it into small pieces. Onion time. Let's see if I cry. Cut the thing. Once again, you go down the side and then you can grab it off. Oh my God, my hands are like slimy. Slice it in half. Make incisions. Trying to do this quick so I don't cry. Ta da! Not crying right now, but I think I can feel it in my eye. Okay, so we've opened the beef mince, and what we need to do is pop the oil in first. Now, you don't really need that much oil to get it started. Obviously, mince has its own fat. And then pop your meat in. Make sure you don't bring that paper in. So I'd actually say the second heat from the top. What we need to do is break all of that mince up. Boo! So this heat come back on. As you can see, I'm breaking all the mince up so you don't have big clumps. I've got to brown that off. And then we can add in the bacon and then infuse it with the bacon flavours. So as you can see, the mince is now quite browned up. Let's add in the bacon that we have chopped. <laughs> I just had some water. Okay, so as you can see now, the bacon and the mince has now mixed. The mince is pretty brown. So what we need to do from here is we need to add in the onion to get that fried off. And then once that is translucent, then we can add in the garlic and all the other vegetables. Garlic? Like and hit the thumbs up. And subscribe. What is it? And subscribe, and subscribe the channel. So as you can see now, the onion has become translucent. Too. And we need to add in our garlic. Garlic your fingers. All right. So let's mix that in. Mix it around the pan. Make sure it's all separated. Oh. Garlic in any dish is just... We're just going to add in a little bit of fish sauce. So you don't need much of this because it is very potent. So in Filipino dishes, the pancit dish is used a lot in celebrations. So birthdays, uh, Christmas, Easter's, any of those celebratory dates. It usually means to bring long life. Noodles are long, they're quite endless. Put the two together, that's what it generally means. But being that I am Kez, I am half Filipino. This is my fusion, my recipe. For what I have in the cupboard because we are on a budget and I haven't gone shopping today. So this is what it will be. And we're just about to add in our vegetables. Look at that. Look at it, look at it, look at it. I'm gonna add in the lentils. We're going to put in our mushrooms because they need to let out their water. So what we're doing now is we're mixing around the mushrooms and make sure you mix it around the pan. What we need to do now is put all the vegetables into the pan. Make sure it's all mixed in together. So what we need to do is add in some pepper. About eight brines there. Just keep mixing that around for a couple of minutes. Add in some soy. Now it smells beautiful. Oh, Lastly, we need 
going to add in the oyster sauce. Now this is only about $2 from any shop. And just mix that around. And last but not least, we'll add in our noodles. So now you just mix it in with your tongs and make sure that it goes throughout all the vegetables and the meat because you want it to be evenly dispersed so you can serve it up. So all together, I would say this dish would be another $10 dish. That's all together. So once again, feeding five, five pines, family on a budget, $2 per head. Yes. What's really? Like and follow. Like, follow, subscribe. And just make sure that when you're subscribing that you share the page as well so we can get our name out there. And maybe one day we might become big and famous cooks. And then hit the thumbs up. All right, so this is what the final look of the dish looks like now. It's all mixed in and ready to hey. serve. So make sure that you like this video, share, subscribe, and follow our Instagram, which is Five Pines. You'll be able to see everything that we upload there. Um, and then that way, follow us in any way. The more followers, the and better.